Hi BPTs, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this Revlon all cover foundation. Um, I went to the Revlon masterclass hosted by Kay um, here in Durban and at the masterclass we got to try the foundations and like a whole bunch of Revlon products. Um, I really like the foundations. So I picked up two of them, two of them, because we actually got um, 350 Rand vouchers from them. So we got the vouchers, we got um, a lip gloss, a mascara, and an eyeliner, all by Revlon. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use all those products, and then I'm also going to use these two products. So if you guys want to find out my feels, my thoughts, my overall opinion, particularly on the red one, um, full cover, color safe full cover foundations, then please keep watching. Now, before I get into all the good stuff, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to 1K subscribers. Um, currently, as I'm filming this video, I have not picked a winner for the um, 800 subscribers giveaway. So I'm going to randomly select the winner and then I will put the person's name right over here okay so congratulations to this person <laughs> for winning that giveaway please get in contact with me by dming me on my instagram so that i can hook you up with the giveaway ideas firstly before we actually use the stuff let us talk about these guys and the price point and everything so um this is the as i mentioned color stay full cover foundation it's a matte foundation it says it's a 24 hour wear foundation the time is currently i don't know what the time is the time is currently three minutes past two i'm obviously not gonna wear this for 24 hours but i will put it on now and i will wear it till the end of the day and then I'll come back and give you guys like um, an updated feedback on how it's worn for how many ever hours I wear it for um, just so you guys can get like um, a better feedback of the product so the price points these are 179 rand each um, I picked these up at Edgar's oh it also says it's a full cover foundation um, you guys are gonna see when I put it on and you can also decide for yourself if you feel like it's a full cover foundation or not okay the reason i picked up these two foundations is actually because this one is my shade and this one was the one i used to highlight because the shade range for their highlighters is the ghetto it is the pits it is tragic it needs help they need to be dragged for the shade range of the concealers i like like I couldn't, I couldn't even highlight with any of the concealers. And then with the shade range for the foundations as well, this was the darkest shade that they had, this um, 420. And that is my shade. Guys, I'm not that dark. This cannot be the darkest shade that you have as a brand. You need to have darker shades than this. So currently I've only like cleaned the bottom part of my brows because I was doing my eyeshadow. I haven't cleaned the top, I haven't filled in my brows. I don't need any filling in my brows. But I am gonna clean up the top and I'm gonna use this foundation to do so. What I usually do when I clean up the top of my brows is I actually don't burn it out. I let it like sit for a little bit because I want that line on the top to be really really defined and to just like stay put because I wanted to show you guys how this foundation matches my complexion I'm going to apply it just on the one side at first and then blend it out on the one side um, just so you guys can see what it looks like and 
you can also judge the match for yourselves. This brush is generally not the brush that I apply foundation with. It's not the brush I like to apply foundation with at all. But because this thing doesn't have a pump, um, yeah, I'm fine with this brush. And I'm still gonna blend it with the brush that I'm gonna use. So, if you guys watched my um, video on foundation matching and finding out your undertone and stuff like that, you know that I tested the foundation on one half of my face just so you can see what the half of foundation looks like versus the half without any foundation. Um, you can already see the side of my face is more matte than the side. And the difference is like barely there. What I am gonna do is apply a little bit more around this area because my hyperpigmentation around there is a little bit more visible. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video on how I dealt with my hyperpigmentation because it was actually really bad. Like my skin at a point, my skin was a ghetto. Oh, crap. And now that we are done applying that foundation, I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, which is 425 caramel, and I'm going to highlight with that. I'm just going to let that sit on my face for a little bit, and I'm going to do my contour while this is just, you know, relaxing on my skin. I'm going to contour with this dark shade on this Sun Kiss Giant Bronzer in Dark. I got this from this camera a while back and it's super cheap. I don't know if they still stock it, but yeah, this is the powder I used to contour. To contour my nose, I'm going to use the same bronzing what what, but then I'm going to use the lighter shade because I do not like contour my nose with the same shade that I used to contour my face. I feel like with your nose contour, your focus should be on the highlights and not so much the contour because when you highlight, like your face here yeah, you create like a, a darker area on your nose naturally so when i blend i'm going to blend upwards into my nose and then there's naturally going to be a line there right um as you can see i didn't do that much for my nose contour now it's time to blend 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 blend, blend. the way that i make everything look seamless is to go back in with the brush that I used to blend my foundation and just blend everything in because it's still got some residual product on it so it'll just help everything be balanced out. So you can see my nose is contoured but like that contour doesn't look dark like it's not like screaming at you that my nose is contoured but the nose is contoured and the highlight stands out. And then when I highlight with my highlighter, it's gonna stand out even more. So far as it stands, I am absolutely digging and loving this foundation. It has applied super smoothly. It has blended out super easily. And like in as much as it is a mattifying foundation, my skin doesn't feel like it, it has the moisture sucked out of it, like a desert or something. Like it still feels soft. Um, almost velvety in a sense but it's very much matte. Anyways, I've got with me this um what is it color say exactify liquid eyeliner and it doesn't say if it's not black or not it's called sparkling black don't know what that means so we'll find out now this is a very 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 different brush from what I'd like seen like ever Ever, 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 let's just do a swatch. What is what a swatch is like? Oh yeah, it is. It's quite black. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be black or not because this container is not exactly black. Black. It's more like a dark brown. So let's see if I'm gonna mess up my eye look with this eyeliner or not. <laughs> Now I'm going to apply the mascara. For my lips, um, before I go on with that pink lipstick, well it's actually like a coral peachy colour, um, I'm going to go in with this 
ColourPop um, sculpting stick. It's a sculpting stick, but whatever it is. It's a contour stick in the, in the shade um, New Renaissance. So I bought this to contour it. <laughs> and at the time when I bought this, this was the darkest shade that they had for contour. <laughs> <laughs> I could not control with it, but it does make for uh, a nice mistake. Mm, <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm really crazy right now. But um, now I'm going to go in with the Superstay. Superstay? Nope, it's an Ultra HD matte look. It's not a Superstay. <sighs> I wish me luck. It smells very really sweet. This right here, guys, is what makeup artists mean when they say trust the process. How amazing does that look? How moody patootie does that look? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's just have a moment for Zyla's for this face we here, okay? Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Ain't I cute? I'm cute, I know, you don't have to tell me. Oh. So I'm gonna fix my makeup with this Makeup Revolution Hy Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Fix Setting Spray. The last thing that I'm going to use <laughs> is this um, Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. Oh my days. This is the shade Gold Addict. Oh my days. You guys, I've used this before and I'm shook. I was mad shook. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, because wow, wow, wow. It instantly became my favorite highlighter. So I've just applied some of it on this brush and I'm going to highlight it. I'm really hoping that it's gonna show you guys properly what this highlight does. You do see that, right? You, you, you do see you, you see what I'm seeing right now, right? 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 Makeup Revolution did not come to play. They did not come to play. Do you see how now that I've highlighted my nose, my nose highlight stands out even more, making my nose look super contoured? Do you guys get it? Do you guys see it? Do you guys believe it? Let me know. See so, y'all yeah, guys. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have used any of the Revlon products that I just used, or even the Makeup Revolution products, especially particularly the strobing highlighter, um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And what else? Yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for coming to my TikTok. Bye. Hey guys, so I am coming back to you to give you like the results of the weight test of this foundation. It is currently five minutes past nine at night and I wore the foundation at, I think it was three minutes past two. So that is seven hours. And that is almost a full day of work for some people so i think that's a good amount of time to gauge the foundation by um as you can see nothing has moved the foundation is still very much intact the only problem that i've got which i have with every single foundation is creasing underneath my eyes so that's not even a big deal um the found <laughs> the lipstick um well i just had something to eat like an hour ago or so but i haven't touched it up since i put it on um when i first did my makeup so this is completely understandable 
um overall i will give the foundation a good 8.5 out of 10 because i mean like i'm oily and i usually get like really oily around like my t-zone and stuff particularly here in my nose and honestly this is not bad at all like I, it, this is not bad at all i'm not shiny i haven't touched it up at all like at all and i've been doing a lot of stuff like the whole day so yeah guys i feel like this is a really good foundation it's definitely worth the money if you're considering getting it and they have your shade definitely go ahead and get it and that is it thank you guys for watching bye